Never become the school thought. Okay, so there's certain reputations in school that nobody wants to have. And one of those reputations, it's gotta be the school thought, bro. No one ever wants to be known as that. Once every- That reminds me, bro. There was a school thought, bro. Once you're labeled as a school thought, it's over for you. Because I remember this one girl, bro. They started, after they called her the school thought, they started a rumor that she had STDs. Do I know she has STDs? No, because if I did, that would mean I, t I actually smashed her. Did I do it? Maybe. Everybody knows that. It's done. It's wraps. You're not getting a date ever again. It's really wild what some of these people will do. You never want to get involved with any of these types of people, bro. Like, just stay the hell away. And don't get it twisted, bro. There's still those dudes out there that will f*** anything. All right? I'm t no, th th that's true, though. Why is it only that we be flaming women? I know there's some niggas out here that would give dick to even the lunch ladies. There's down bad niggas in school that would smash anything, bruh. To all you seniors, y'all would even smash freshmen and y'all talking about school thought. Nigga, you're the thought. You Talk about them in this video, too. There's literally people out there that would f anything that walks. Like, it's crazy, bro. Let me. Our school thought got put on the hub. I'm not gonna lie. First and foremost, why is the hub still have that shit up? They literally have CP on. But then again, I'm pretty sure they got exposed for that, but... Not gonna lie, it's one thing getting smashed, another thing getting recorded. Personally, bro, that, that just could not be me. But that highway reputation, bro, is not gonna leave you. It's sticking with you. Now, of course, the school thought mentality starts all the way back to middle school. Some of you might be like, bro, how is that even, how the fuck does that start in middle school, bro? But trust me, trust me, it does, if you really think about it. So, a lot of people- I, I, I don't think it, I don't think there's a date to when you could become a school thought. If, mo if, if many men could co-sign that they smashed you, that's when you become the school thought. Middle school like to date as many people as possible. And I guess that's just their main objective. Like they think the more people they've dated, like the cooler they are, I guess. I don't know. That's how it works for men, not women. How that mentality could possibly work. But and I don't know how you think a middle school relationship is going to like hold any value in your life whatsoever. And I would always look on my Snapchat stories and see some shit like one year with the one I'm going to love forever. And it's some fucking dude in middle school, of course, like. Wait, yo, Chad, do you guys have people in high school that are still, like, strong or middle school or wherever you go to? I'll be honest, all the people that were dating in high school, when we went to college, they said, nah, I'm, I'm okay, buddy. We're, we're, we're done. I, I, I don't believe in high school love. That's not gonna happen, bro. Like, tell me not. You're gonna break up in, like, T-minus fucking two months, bro. It's not gonna last. If you're an adult and you have someone's initial in your bio, please grow up. But yeah, no, some people really just like, they just date around in middle school. Like, no, unfortunately I made this mistake and I cannot take it back, bro. It's over. It's, it's tough. So, uh, yeah, I dated a girl in middle school that literally would like go around and date a different dude every two weeks. Like, I don't know why I dated that. I have no idea. But yeah, my friend told me this and I just didn't believe him. But yeah, apparently he was right. And that's where that meant every two weeks. Damn, nigga, at that point, do you even care about looks? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Your, your free trial is done, buddy. Where's Jimmy? <laughs> Whole time Jimmy got one leg. Bitch, you fucking anyone. Mentality all begins, you know? Once you reach middle school and you get to the point where you want to start dating. But you date literally everybody in existence, okay? Like, that's that's just not how dating works, bro. Yeah, I know that's pretty obvious, but I guess people just don't know that nowadays. But when you enter high school, it's a completely different ball game, bro. Once you enter high school, bro, you hear all different types of stories, bro. You think you have it worse at your school, but holy shit entire team bro like i don't know how that's fucking possible bro. she gotta go from player to player bro she ain't satisfied with one player build or there'd be people that just go into the school bathroom and do that shit bro how out of all places on this fucking earth do you go into a school bathroom i'm i'm not gonna lie if your ass smashed it in in the school bathroom um i feel like bro pregnancies won't scare you stds won't scare you i don't think nothing in this world would scare you if you're if you're if you're cool with smashing in the school bathrooms. And you decide, yeah, this looks like a good place to get down. You're a fucking dumbass, bro. I don't know how on God's green earth you can fucking do that, bro. School bathroom is the mustiest place on earth. You cannot tell me the scent of EDP's body odor, axe, and fucking shit gets you going. You exactly, bro. If your act can hit the strokes while smelling shit stains, bro, you smashing anything. You gotta be like extreme levels of different breed to find that shit like somewhat enjoyable. Like what if a kid was just taking a shit next to you in the stall when that was going down? Like what the f- Or what if you walk into the bathroom and you're just trying to take a piss and you hear that in the fucking bathroom stall? Like me personally, I'd, I'd just hold it, bro. Like what the fuck? It's just an inconvenience for everybody at this point, bro. With street type behavior- Yo chat, have any of y'all beat your meat in the school stalls? Be honest. 
here, of course, comes with getting dress coded 24-7. Yeah, they always begin dress coded, too. The dress code, yeah, it's a little bit rough for girls. I'm not going to lie. Like, you can't have your fucking shoulders exposed. Or, like, they think a dude's going to cream his pants over fucking shoulders. But still... Wait, y'all don't? God damn, bro. Them shoulders used to turn me the... F I'm just... Pl I'm just playing. It was the feet. There's just a line that just shouldn't be crossed, bro. You know that line. Like, you know in the back of your head. You just know in the back of your mind what clothing should not be worn to school. Like, if you think about it this way, if you had a daughter, right, and you sent her to school in that clothing, how the fuck would you feel, bro? Like, you would not feel good, would you? No, I'm not going to lie, bro. Respect, like, wait, Chad. Are y'all cool with letting, like, w when you guys have children, because, you know, some of y'all going to have children. How, how, like... Harsh are you gonna be with clothing? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be pretty harsh. But it's gonna go go. It's gonna go both ways. It's not gonna be only my daughter. My son better not be sagging. Hell no. My my son sag. I'm I'm, I'm assuming the nigga. You know he like dick. Only do they get dress coded, bro? But some of them really be starring like fucking businesses out of this, bro. Like I I kid you not. Like a friend of mine to just now told me a story about how this girl at his school was literally like selling kisses and. uh BJ's in the bathroom. I, I would, I'm not gonna lie, y'all gonna think I'm bugging. In, in my high school years, I probably would have really contemplating on buying one. Just, don't don't get me wrong, I know my meat would have itched afterwards, but I'll be honest. For money. Like, what the fuck? Like, there's girls out there that are just trying to be seen as a piece of trash on the road. Like, I don't know what the fuck's up with. Or there'd be some dudes that do the same thing, bro. Like, they they get with so many girls to the point where they, they just lose value. Like, they they lose value in the dating market altogether, bro. Just because they decided to fucking get with all these girls. And this is why a lot of- Y'all think, y'all think as a streamer, if, if I had like an OnlyFans and, and, and I told people, Hey man, $20, you know, I'll give you some strokes. Y'all think some people would buy that? People say Gen Z is ruined dating because of this street type behavior. No one's gonna be thrilled to date this school thought. Like, oh, oh, yeah, I, I want to take this school thought on a date. Like, no one is saying that. Like, if there's a dude that looks better than you and is like on a higher level than you, what makes you think that she's gonna stay loyal to you? You know, the fact that she, you know she has all that history. Yeah, obviously that it's just not gonna happen, bro. If you no, that's very true. One thing I hate about high school relationships. They were like stupid superficial. Girls would literally ditch your ass if there's someone better looking. I don't know why, but that was facts. Get with every girl that walks. You're never going to find a girl that will like settle down with you. Like genuinely. These people think having like an insanely high body count. Like makes them more of a man or just like adds to their status oh as a guy goodness. or some shit. Why was that believed in high school? I feel like now that people like when people grow up, they started real they start realizing, yo, that shit just nasty. And these types of people, they get together for like a couple of months, they cheat on each other, so, and the relationship is just completely purposeless. Like, what the f- You're telling me that you're gonna get in a relationship with somebody just to not be loyal to them, bro. That's literally the number one quality you need in a- Do y'all date to marry? Now I do, but before- This is a one year free trial. W once I figure you out- Oh, we got A relationship. But if you ever look at a school thought, and you're like, Yeah, man. <laughs> I can fix her. You, there's no fixing that. I'm sorry. Like, highway material is highway material. Like, you just cannot fix that. Once a school thought, always a school thought. Yeah, I, yeah. That's I, I true. Gotta say. It's like That's true. That's true. I've never seen one school thought redeem herself. <laughs> oh, oh, look. She's now an award-winning actress. Uh, I don't know, bruh. Walking into a girl's room and you see that fucking astrology flag hanging up. There's no fix in that. Like, it's it's over. You might as well just fucking call it Mentally at this point. Ill. And unfortunately, some people, like, they end up dating the school thought. Like, I witnessed this myself um, at my school. Some people end up dating the school thought, right? And they treat them really good, and they're just, like, super nice to them. No, but the thing is, bro, y'all y'all are lucky y'all have the privilege of being with school thoughts. I'm the type of nigga, I'll, I'll talk to the school thought, and her ass, her ass gonna give it to everyone. Edward, Charles... My nigga, my nigga Stewie from goddamn, you know, the, the, the special, the special, you know, classes. But so I want a relationship with me? Dog. You basically, you, at this point, I don't even know if you gave it to the principal, but you look at me like you want something. Nigga, if you don't turn around and get, you know.
Like, there's dudes that really be out here like, ah, yes, my queen. And then they just get fucking cheated on. Like, yeah, obviously, I feel bad, of course. Like, no one deserves to get cheated on. That That's fucked up. Like, it was coming. It was obviously, like, it was gonna happen. Like, there is no avoiding that, bro. It's like stepping into the ring with Muhammad Ali and saying that you're not gonna get your ass beat. Like, of course they're gonna get your fucking ass beat. Like, are you fucking... Of course it happened to girls, too. Not just guys, obviously. This is crazy to me how, like, this type of behavior is, like, encouraged. But all you're really doing is just lowering your value in the dating market. You're not doing anything for yourself. Like, sure, yeah, you may get experience, but that isn't really gonna help you out that much, bro. I'm not gonna lie. A lot of songs and media, like, have that idea of basically just hoeing yourself out and becoming a hoe. Like, it's weird, bro. And people get, like, encouraged if they do this shit. Like, they, they, their friends be telling them, Let's go. Niggas said Hawaii stream would be insane. Who the fuck gonna fund that? Hold on, you gonna fund that? You know I don't have that much money. Oh, bro, you got that. Like, yeah, bro, it's, it's mad weird. Like, if you're out here, like, catching bodies, like, all the fucking time, not that, you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why it's encouraged, but it is, apparently. Apparently, the girls are, like, a fucking a girl boss if they do that shit, and the guys are, like, an alpha chad if they go around sticking it and everything, bro. I don't know what could happen. I hear the term girl boss. You mean you're a thought. You <laughs> ain't no girl boss. Yeah, bro. It, like, anything could just fucking go wrong, and uh, you could have an unwanted child. Yeah, like, w w who wants that? Nobody. No one wants a little fucking Timmy walking around when they're age 19. Like, dude, I'm 20, and let's just say something weird. Look, 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 respectfully speaking, if I get a girl pregnant <laughs> when I was in high school, in her ass say, in her ass say, oh no, I'm keeping this shit. We're not keeping it. We're not keeping that shit. Bah. Nigga, I'll treat your stomach like it's a punching. My bad. What to go wrong, bro? I'm not ready to be a father, bro. Like, I barely know how to make a fucking YouTube video. You think I'm ready to raise kids? Fuck no. But the worst part of the school thought reputation has got to be this, by far. OF. The introduction to OF has just led- Tell- No, no, no. Tell me. No, 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 no. Tell me what I saw a girl in high school talking about. I'm gonna make an OnlyFans and she made this shit. Bitch, you are in high school. What do you mean? That is illegal. Your wife could go to prison. Why are you that desperate for money? Nigga, you want- Bro, I'm sorry. If you want high school and you're contemplating on getting an OnlyFans, seek God, nigga. Girls to just hoe themselves out even more. That's just- what people do now because apparently they can make a lot of money from it but they basically just sell and they sold bro like come on i'm not gonna lie to you imagine dating a girl that does only fans bro like would y'all do it would y'all date a, a girl or a guy with an only fans you'd probably end up like having some dudes go into your house like hello i'm here to watch uh your girl uh film the content like dude i'm not trying to deal with that like fuck as soon as they turn 18 the clock strikes midnight they start a fucking only fans like holy shit like I, I don't know what it is with these girls but they they do anything for like three only fan subscribers now you're known as the girl that has an only fans and you made like fucking i don't know five bucks and a piece of lint Wow, good shit. Like, you're really getting to the bag, huh? If they're making harmless educational content, I don't see why not. Allah, you know exactly what the fuck I meant by that. I know there's other content on OnlyFans. What the fuck you meant? Oh, oh, yeah, if they're, if they're cooking food and they're making, like, chef con- Nigga, I mean, they asses out here, butt booty naked, getting clapped. Getting, no, no, not clap. Clap is insane. I'm sorry, bro. If you are Adam 22 ass nigga and, and you're cool with your girl being an only yeah, an only fan thought, then you're you're insane. She on that rise and grind mentality. Sigma grind set. All right, like she's really out here getting to the paper with that fucking OnlyFans check. But then, yeah, literally everybody finds out that you. I think it really just depends. If, if her ass is just taking pictures of her toes, shit like that. You know, I'm cool, but if you giving, you know, if you showing your, you know, a little, little titty, you know what I'm saying, a little, little, little bit of cooch, then that's when I'm gonna be like, alright, bruh, <laughs> I don't want another nigga to come up to me and be like, this your girl? There's no winning that, con like, argument. You have an OnlyFans, and you get fucking clowned. That's exactly what happens. That's what happened to uh, some of my friends. They talked about these girls that started OnlyFans when they got out of school. And they told me everything. They told me they got fucking clowned to shit, and everybody knew about it. So, yeah, really stupid idea. And that's why you never want to become the school thought, or just, like, the fuck boy. Never become that guy, or that girl, right? Uh, subscribe. Facts. Facts. That was, that was, an that was another good video. Or maybe I'm just a good reactor. Okay, El Ego, my bad. Um.
yeah, that's that, that's definitely gonna be plug in. If you're watching this, make sure you guys subscribe, join us on Discord, catch us on Twitch, all that good stuff. Black stuff for life. Love y'all. Peace.